Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be on the topic of stickers and what their future looks like after this insane amount of manipulation has been occurring. Now with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and check out a sponsor. Alright guys, so the sponsor for today's video is going to be CSGO Station. They are a great Discord server with a very solid management team set up on it, which is very important when it comes to Discord servers I must add. They are basically a hub for all of your general CSGO needs, so investment questions or trading questions, or if you just want to network yourself, they also have self-promo channels, and of course, once to look for teammates then you can go ahead and also use it for that. They're also hosting a big giveaway event that you can do right now and enter a few things in order to win some pretty sick CSGO loadouts so if you want to go ahead and do that and kind of get started on your investment journey if you're a new investor then that's also an option. That being said they're a great server that I personally believe in and if you want to go ahead and check them out just use the link in the description below. Alright guys so if you've looked at the market recently you've noticed that stickers have just gone crazy they have raised an immense amount pretty much across the board any major that you look at has had stickers that have just gone crazy and the main thing here is going to be manipulation that big word manipulation and I've talked about manipulation in the past videos actually like two videos ago I talked about manipulation more specifically with some high tier items and that manipulation actually ended up spreading into some of these stickers specifically it started off with the Katavisi 2015 stickers but then it ended up spreading into other stickers like clone 2014 specifically the Dignitas hollow was a big one and the LDLC hollow which both ended up raising about two times their value and it's also spread into some other stuff like for example the clone 2015 stickers as well so that's kind of the general thing here there's just a widespread amount of manipulation happening across the marketplace and one of the interesting things about this manipulation specifically is that it actually spawned a bunch of investors to go and buy into these items and actually increase their value even more and actually some of these stickers have really just been invested into rather than manipulated like for example with the LDLC Cologne 14 non hollow that one actually has a very close buy order price to its sell order price and that one you could kind of say is a little bit more just an investment that has spurred its price to increase rather than just manipulation specifically now other items for example have been manipulated items that have had low quantities and low amounts on sale that are pretty prone to manipulation like for example the vexed foils I was talking about those ones you could say are a bit more manipulated because those ones actually are up at about $22 right now in their sell order price and then are all the way down at around $11 for their buy order price so the buy orders are actually catching up on the vexed foil specifically I do want to say that but with a sticker like that it's definitely more of a manipulation thing rather than an investment thing so yeah before we continue with this video and kind of got into the main bread and butter of it which is the future of these stickers I just just wanted to make sure everybody was clear on that distinguishing thing from investing and also from manipulating which are you know two different things obviously and it's important to make the distinguishment on each sticker okay so now on to the main topic of this video the actual important thing that more people are probably wondering and that's going to be what is the future of these stickers should you hold them should you buy into them what are good prices and what are bad prices so the main thing here is that normalization is most likely going to occur just like the manipulation before it the normalization for these items is also going to occur at a huge rate across the marketplace all of these manipulated stickers have gone up so much and people that have bought into them and aren't going to see the short-term returns or are already seeing some of that normalization are just going to factor in more towards those items lowering in price and I think a lot of these prices are not sustainable they're just so high and there's not really a large marketplace for people that actually want to buy into these huge prices and so I think with a lot of these items that are, have been manipulated already they're probably just going to normalize a lot and kind of go down to a little bit of a higher price than they were before but not their original price so if you did buy into them before this manipulation occurred I would say just continue to hold on to them because I think that they're still going to go back to a fairly decent value. So that's going to be kind of the short term of what happens to these stickers that have been manipulated like crazy. The short term is basically just going to be that they are going to return to normalized values. These are going to be probably a bit higher than their original values because there is still a lot of hype around them, but I don't think they're going to maintain the higher prices like I just said. So that's kind of what's going to happen in the short term for these stickers. And let's move on to the long term. So for a lot of these stickers, especially the old ones like Cologne 2014, 2015, and Katavisi 2015, 2015, the future for these actually looks pretty bright. The nice thing about manipulation is that it actually circulates a lot of the supply of these items throughout the marketplace and throughout the users of CSGO, and the nice thing about that is that it kind of moves it out of investors' hands and into people's hands that are just non-investors, so people will like randomly buy one or two stickers off of someone that's dumping all of their stickers. And so what ends up happening is that it kind of spreads out the supply to people that are not initially invested into the items but may be wanting to invest in them in the future. So what ends up happening is that because the items that are at a higher price is too high, so these people can not just buy a bunch of them they can't really hoard the items because it's too expensive to hoard and so what ends up happening is that the supply of these items kind of gets spread out all across the marketplace and the really good thing about that is that it means that there's not a bunch of people hoarding them that can just massively affect the price of them once it rises so 
for example, if an item is going for about 100 USD and someone had bought them in at like 50 USD and then they bought like whatever, like 100 of them and they sold all of those 100 at $100, that's going to crash the price like crazy because people are going to keep undercutting until the price of that item goes way, way down. So to explain that in sort of simpler terms, basically when things normalize, it's actually really good for them as a future prospect because it means that the items are not going to be all held and are super dumpable and the items are going to be, you know, less dumpable and they're going to be less hoarded, which means the item can be sold at normal rates and at normal times so the price just doesn't get like crazy destroyed whenever it rises. However, as I mentioned a little bit ago, this is really only going to happen for items that are older, like older stickers, Kedavy 2015, Cologne 2014, for example, those ones that were manipulated. It's really only going to have a positive normalization effect for those items because those ones are going to have a lot less people hoarding them now that they've risen to such a high price, and I'm going to kind of explain that now. So let's look at the concept of the gambling type crash. So I know it's kind of interesting that gambling comes in here, but yes, that's what actually is going to be applying to this concept. So crash is a type of gambling where basically a multiplier is going to go up and up and up, but it'll eventually crash and no one who's playing the game actually knows when it's going to crash. So you'll have to kind of bet on values like two times or three times, and then if it hits that, you're going to get that cash out. And if it crashes before you hit that, then you're going to lose all your money. So that's how crash works. And it's kind of the same thing, kind of the same concept that's happening here. People don't really think that it's going to hit a hundred times, for example, on crash, because that's pretty unrealistic and pretty rare. And so the main thing people are going to do is actually have their items sold at lower values, like two times or three times. So people that are holding onto the items for a hundred times is going to be a much smaller population of people than people who originally invested into it. That's why it's kind of frustrating when people say that they regret selling an item at a lower price than what they could have sold it for because it's kind of unrealistic to expect that item to hit that price when you initially invest into it. So like for example if you were to buy an item for like 30 cents you would not expect that item to go up to like five thousand dollars and so when that item goes up to like one or two dollars you've still made profit and you still actually did really good but obviously you didn't sell it at the highest possible price just because it's unrealistic to expect it to go there. So this is why it's actually a lot better to buy these older stickers for investments rather than the newer ones even though they were both manipulated in the same sort of sense. The thing here is that these people that have bought into the older stickers are going to be people that have either bought them at a high price or people that don't actually play the game anymore and are hoarded into them. So it's going to be a lot harder for the items to decline rapidly or crash like it would be for a newer item that has a lot more investors because the supply of them is going to be a lot lower and it's going to be spread out across more people. Essentially you want more people controlling the supply rather than less. So if there's a very low amount of people that control a large amount of a supply of an item that's going to be really really bad because those people are going to be able to essentially just crash the market or make it go crazy anytime they want and it's going to be a very unhealthy and volatile experience. But with older items those supplies are going to be held by a wide variety of people. Some that are banned, some people that just have one or two of the item or just an occasional hoarder here and there and so it's not going to be controlled and as volatile as a newer item that has a lot more investors. So to talk about the future of these stickers and which ones you should buy for investing, I would definitely recommend to still just go with the old ones. Kedavy 2015, Cologne 2014, Cologne 2015, and just that kind of general area. Dreamhack 2014 is another really good one. Those ones were only slightly manipulated but they were still manipulated nonetheless. I would recommend these ones because they are going to be less hoarded and they're going to have a higher amount of them that is kind of spread across the market than some of these newer stickers. And that's why they're going to be better investments for the future. When these items rise, they're going to be less prone to crashing because there's going to be more people and a higher diversity of type of people that is going to be controlling the market for them. So for example, with the Desert Eagle Armor Jormungandr, that's an example of an item that was very, very invested into, like over-invested in a sense, because when that item would see large rises like it normally should, it would actually crash back down very rapidly because people would sell off for profits. And that's kind of the concept I was explaining in the past, but just another example for it. Anyway, that's going to kind of just be my call for that. I think all of the older stickers are going to be really the only options. Some of those newer ones are going to see a lot harder crashes and are going to have a lot harder time recovering from this manipulation normalization that's going to occur pretty shortly. If you want some recommendations on those older stickers to buy into, then I would definitely go check out my sticker investing video that I made not that long ago. Those picks still pretty much stand, even with the manipulation. Obviously, I would wait for some more normalization because that's going to be occurring in the coming weeks, and these items are going to be cheaper than they are now, and that's going to be a better time to buy. So with that said, that's basically going to be my picks. Obviously, you can still buy into some of the newer stuff, like the gold web foils, but again, just wait for the manipulation to kind of cease. I also don't really want to leave this video without making a specific call because I still think people are going to ask me for a specific investment call on one of these items and so the one that I would definitely be watching out for is going to be the London Conspiracy Hollow. This one is just a super unique sticker. It was manipulated a little bit but not too much and it's a very unique one because it does have that purple pink kind of design on it and a very simple design as well. I think it's a really really solid sticker around and I think it's going to be my main pick for one of these older stickers that you could invest into. So to kind of recap basically the manipulation is going to spawn normalization which is going to cause these prices to go down very quickly. We're already seeing this a little bit with some of these stickers 
And basically the reason for this manipulation is because people were selling it off for profit at a high rate and were dumping the items, which means that they are going to crash a lot faster. And for the future, I would definitely recommend checking out those older stickers from those older tournaments and not really any of the newer ones, unless you're going for something like the Gold Web Foil, which already has a pretty low quantity. And if you want in a specific call, then definitely go for that London Conspiracy Hollow. To sum it up in one sentence to kind of explain the future for these items, the older stickers are going to be better for the future because they are less controlled. That said, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really thank you for taking time out of your day to come spend it with me and the video in front of you. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell for future uploads, making sure that you get the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. With that also being said, make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter below, and also be sure to check out CSGO Station in the description below. And thank you guys for checking out that sponsor, and I will see you all next time. Peace.